But all right, let's continue, Father Rob, with your Emmy Award winning appearance. There's no doubt about it on Good Day, New York. <laughs> So we know that uh, Pope Benedict was the right-hand man of John Paul II. Uh, in fact, he wasn't even elected until like the fourth go-around, right, during the conclave? Pretty quickly, though. When, in, when in terms of papal conclaves, it was the second day. It was really 24 hours after the conclave began that he was elected, the fourth election, which is, for the most part in the history of the Catholic Church, that's a pretty quick conclave. Normally it would take three or five days for something like this to happen. So we don't have to wait the, the, the normal nine days of mourning because it, there, there is no death here. So they're going to pretty much start right away. Probably not, actually, because he doesn't resign until February 28th. And the, the actual document that governs papal conclave says the conclave shouldn't begin before 15 days after the vacancy. What? And the well, vacancy is February 28th. What? 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 <laughs> what? She was not happy, we know. She was not what? happy. <laughs> what? Well, I've never been more offended in my life. What? What? This woman really took that news personally. She Holy was God, very Father upset Rob. by that. She even said it to me off the air. She said, I don't understand. Why wouldn't they do it right away? I said, well, because it says 15 days after the vacancy. But he's what? leaving. He's, he didn't die. He's leaving. They don't have to mourn him. I said, I said good day. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen somebody take this news so hard. I, I felt bad for you. It's, what? <laughs> now, we should point out, we, we don't know. Now, uh, the Holy Father we know is going to resign February 28th. It's up for grabs. There's a document that says that it must be minimum 15 days. But can't be 20 days waiting. Right. Uh, they might blow that out of the water, though, and start it right up March 1st. We don't know. Yeah, it's possible. They haven't announced anything yet. The The rumor right, is right. that it would be more closer to 15 days. But, yeah, there's there's really, there's a, as we've said yesterday and today, there isn't a whole lot of precedent for this. So it's entirely what? possible <laughs> that over the what? next week they may decide that they're going to do it earlier than the 15 days. And what? then that woman will be happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> now she'll be mad. That Father Rob lied to me on the air. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll never get invited back. <laughs> All right, let's, how many more clips do I have to deal with here? Two more clips, this Lino. This is a big okay. appearance. This was Jeez. like six minutes long, this appearance. When the Pope resigned, he resigned in the middle of talking about some people who would be canonized, correct? Correct. That's the reason, actually, for the meeting. So they have what's called, and what we would, it's a big fancy word, I'll explain it, ordinary consistory. Whenever the Pope is going to do something big for the, whole ch for the church as a whole all around the world, he calls whatever cardinals are in Rome there to have a meeting about it. And so the occasion for the meeting yesterday was not to announce his resignation. He had actually called the meeting to announce the canonization, uh, three different canonizations that were going to take place. And then at the end of the, this meeting with all of the cardinals that were present in Rome, that's when he said he was going to resign. And the fact of the matter is those three uh, got very short shrift, if you will. Yes. Nobody's talking about them. So what I thought would be through the miracle of modern technology, uh, even though I'm broadcasting from Austin, Texas, and Father Rob's up there in New York, I'm going to leave Austin, and I'm going to go up to heaven, and I want to chat with some of these newly canonized saints and uh, get their stories because nobody knows what their stories are after the Pope's resignation. What do you think of that? I love this idea. we got to learn a little bit about yeah. them. I'm glad you said yes, because I was going anyways. <laughs> we, we, already, we already got the technology all lined up to go. So. Well, then through the miracle of modern technology, Sirius XM pays for it. I take the trip to heaven. All right, I'm here. Let's test the uh, microphones. One, two, one, two. Does it work up here? Coming through clear, Lino. Hear you very loud yeah. and clear. All right, good. Uh, amazingly, it still works. I mean, this is unbelievable. Lino, is there, a buzz, sounds really... is there a buzz up there talking about the Pope resigning? Are people talking about that up there? Can you can you see them talking like in, in like corners? Well, I do, but what's weird is uh, the all the previous popes who have resigned, I believe there's 10 popes in church history that's ever resigned. Right. They're all in one room looking at each other. That's the that's what they do in heaven. <laughs> is they all stare at each other. So uh, Benedict the Sixteenth will be joining them very soon. Not soon, but you know, one day, uh, he'll be up here and he'll get to hang out with those guys. Hello, did you quit? Yeah, I quit. Hello. Uh, how did you enjoy your quitting? Hello. Well, I quit as well. Ah, yes, good. good. How did that? Go? I enjoyed a quit. Uh, did you enjoy? I enjoyed quitting as well. So I see some folks there. Uh, I see John Paul II, of course, up here in heaven. Wow. 
No, he's giving me the no comment sign. Okay. <laughs> he's saying I didn't resign. Listen, <laughs> I, I think we would all agree that that the Holy Spirit guides and directs each. Uh, according to the way the Spirit guides the church, right? So right. There's, there, in the same way, there's no one way to be Catholic. There's no one way to be Pope. And the Spirit guides as the Spirit uh, wants. And so the Holy Father, John Paul II, was not led by the Spirit to resign. And uh, Benedict XVI was led by the Spirit to resign. What are you going to do, right? I'm not going to do anything. You're asking, you're asking controversial <laughs> questions, by the way, Father <laughs> It's about somebody around here. About time somebody around here is being honest, but it took me to be up in heaven to get honest around here. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, now, now here's the thing. I don't even know who I'm looking for. You say that these newly canonized saints are men and women. I don't know anything about them. I so, assume they'll be right uh, up front. No, wouldn't they be looking for people to talk to them? They, 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 oh, I see somebody who's got a sign saying, "Hey, I just got newly canonized and I can't find my way around here." Uh, maybe I'll, I'm going to try to wave this person down. Hello, hello. Hey, could you come on over here, please? I'm Lino Ruli from the Catholic Guy Show. Hola. Oh, hi. I, I think it's a woman. Hola. Hi. How are you? Yo soy Maria Hi, Guadalupe García Zavala. Your name is Maria Guadalupe Jose. No. I, I missed the last part. Maria Guadalupe García to Zavala. Mar Maria Guadalupe García Tamala. Zavala, Zavala, with the Lavala, Z. Lavala, Lavala, Zavala, 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 Zavala. Well, nice to meet you. I'm from Mexico. And, and now, ah, hola. Hola. Uh, I. <laughs> Now I'm told uh, <laughs> clearly you enjoyed the the Catholic guy show. We like saying hola as well. Hola. And uh, I got it the first three times. But my my uh, no no see I don't know anything about you because Pope Benedict the Sixteenth named you a saint to uh, you know, for, uh, put you up for canonization there yesterday, and then he resigned. So we know nothing about you. Please tell me a little about yourself. Yes, uh, uh, it was uh, very uh, very uh, sad uh, that uh, all he um. He, uh, he, he did the resignation, and uh, now people not yeah, yeah, talk yeah, so okay, much about yeah. me. Uh, I'm a li I'm not from... so much about your take on it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't need your take on the Pope's resignation. Can I just get the information about you, so please? I was born in uh, 1878. <laughs> oh, so relatively modern. Yes, so modern. I, was, <laughs> I only died uh, in 1963. Oh, geez, a real recent. Yeah, very recent. Uh huh. That's what I said. And and uh, you you were a martyr. You died of old age. I don't know. I died of old old age. And uh, uh, at first I thought I should be married, called it a ma marriage. And uh, but uh, I was engaged to be married at the age of twenty three years old. And then I decided that I was really called to religious life. Interesting. So so you know, uh, just like we were talking about the Pope earlier. Sometimes there's a call, and then we respond to that call, and the Spirit leads us a new direction. So. You you became a nun. What was the religious order you joined? Or did you found a religious order? I, I'm sorry, I really don't know. No, it's actually my spiritual director at the time. He founded the religious order, and I joined that one. It was called Handmaids of St. Margaret Mary Out of Coke and the Poor. No, oh, they're, they're big. They're, they're, they're huge. That's they're very, huge very, very popular religious order in Mexico. Oh, in Mexico, okay. Mexico. And Me Mexico, excuse Mexico. me. Mexico. Yes, I said I'm sorry. Yes. And... Uh, you could have said Donata, because that's the only thing I know. Donata. But nonetheless, thank you. And so you, you joined a religious order. So you were a nun. Now, were you a, a contemplative, which means you spent your time uh, sort of indoors no, praying? No, I was very were active. You cloistered? Very you, active. Very active. Well, yes, I was a nurse. A, a, a nurse. I worked with the oh, hospitalized. Isn't that interesting? With the ho well, ho well, not the hospitalized, right, patients, but... Those in the hospitals, you know, <laughs> hospitalized. Right, right, the hospital. Okay, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, sister. What's the matter? You don't say hospitalized in English? Say, yeah, 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 we say it, we say it, sure. Okay. And, and I, I've forgotten your name already. Maria? Maria Guadalupe, Guadalupe. Garcia Zavala. And, now, and so now, are you, now the Holy Father has named you yesterday, you're going to be canonized, so you're not saint yet, correct? You're no, blessed soon, Christ. soon, soon, soon they're me, uh, soon, soon. they have the canonization. So that's real cool. So, the, like, you were called to the religious life, and yet you were a nun, so you're very active, and that that's very cool. What what was the motivation, if you will, to ca cause you to be canonized, if that's maybe an awkwardly phrased question, but uh, w w why you? Well, I, I think part of it was I, I, I was living at the time in Mexi Mexico in a very difficult time with the, the revolution going on and lots of war and insurrection and, and the persecution of the Catholic Church, and I tried my best to protect everyone, so I... Uh, I recognized that it wasn't just good to, to take care of those who were Catholic and the poor, but even those who were persecuting us, who needed care, I cared for them as well. 
No, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And uh, and so now, are you the patron saints of anything yet? How does that work? Once you're canonized, do you become a patron saint immediately? Yeah, I think they will decide that very soon, and then I will be patron of things. Uh, but but you don't happen to know what you might be patron of? What no, might maybe, not yet. Maybe it's not no? revealed yet. That's, soon it will be revealed. That's right. And then I will share it with you when you come back up next time. <laughs> okay. yeah. I would think patron saint of nurses, Probably hospitalers, nurses, something like that. The hospitalized. The, ho- the hospitalized, that's right. All right, well... Soon to be Sis Saint Maria Guadalupe Garcia Vavalas. It was Mar- nice Maria meeting Guadalupe you. Garcia Zavala. Zavala, excuse Zavala. me. Zavala. Zavala. Uh, it was nice meeting you. And uh, nice stop by you. anytime I'm in heaven. Mucho gusto. All right, bye bye. Uh huh. Well, adios. Adios. Dos equis. Adios. Dos equis. Dos, Dos equis. Please go. Please leave. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Adios. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> It's the Catholic Guy Show. I'm up in heaven. Uh, Father Rob, you still down there in New York? I am still here, Lino. That was right, some, that was some of... <laughs> excitable nun. Very excitable nun up there in heaven. Well, you know, she's probably excited. She uh, she was announced as a, a saint yesterday by Pope Benedict XVI, and yet he announces their canonizations and he resigns, so nobody's paying attention to him. So they're very excitable, I'm sure. Sure. They're, they're happy that anyone's oh, oh, coming somebody to talk else... to them. I'm sorry to interrupt. Somebody else is walking up to me. They're wearing a button that says, I just got canonized. Who are you? And so uh, I don't I don't know who this person is, but, of course, I look forward to finding out. Hello. Hola. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hi. Uh, hola. My name is Lino. My and name you is are? Uh, Laura Montoya Upegui. Laura? This sounds like a woman's name. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a woman. You're a woman with this voice? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I didn't come to heaven. See? <laughs> What's so, the matter? Ma'am. So, <laughs> your name is Laura. I'm sorry. And you're canonized. You're, you're, who are you? <laughs> Laura Montoya Opegui. <laughs> it's like this has become the was, Carol Burnett show. We can't we can't keep a straight face. I was uh, a big smoker. And, and <laughs> I can see that now. Sure you were. It's, and and my, I, I don't my, know. My what, one vice. Uh huh, and I wish I had my head in I'm one from, right now. I was that's from how Colombia. Oh, you're from Colombia. Colombia. Okay, well, now that was born in 1874. Uh-huh. <laughs> this, is, this is just weird. And uh, and, and tell me a little bit about yourself, Laura. Well, I, when I was a little uh, girl, I was one of three children. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm saying goodbye. This is enough of you. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, Adios, adios. I don't, I don't, I don't know here. what to do with that. No, no. <laughs> no. no I'm not coming back. Uh, I'm, uh... I'm, okay. Hey, Father Rob, you down there in New York still? I am still here, Lena. What was going on up there? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. It was. Do you know anything about that newly canonized St. Laura? I don't know anything about her, and I, di- I didn't have the patience to try to find out. You know, I, I was reading a little bit about her. She, she lost her father when she was a little kid, like two years old. The father was defending her country, and... Her oh. mother really couldn't take care of her too much, so she sent her off to be with her grandmother. And Laura struggled. She kind of felt like an orphan at times. Her mother eventually took her back, but she had to send her to go work because they, the family needed money. They had no one to provide for them. She, she eventually went to go become a teacher. Even though she had no education, she tried to enroll in the school to become a teacher at the age of 16. And remarkably, she just had natural ability, natural uh, intelligence. And so she was accepted into the school. She became a great teacher. And she actually, she felt called at a moment to, like, be a cloistered nun, but the, the drive and the, the tug to constantly want to teach the gospel to others uh, caused her to actually form a religious order uh, who was dedicated to uh, teaching not just, you know, regular education, but also incorporating gospel values into their education, and in particular to teaching the, the uh, native Indians there in Colombia. Oh, so that was uh, St. Laura who was canonized uh, by the Pope yesterday, who was named for canonization, I should say, yesterday. I'm sorry I couldn't get through the whole story. It was a very difficult person to talk to. Um, now, the Pope canonized one more person yesterday, and, and I believe that person's walking me up to me right now. Uh, well, let's find out who this person is. Hey, how are you? Ciao! Come va? Hey, it's an Italian. I, man hey, or woman? you look like Italian! Are you a man or a woman? I'm a man, Antonio oh, Pizzullo. Okay. <laughs> Me and my 1813 friends, we all of us were uh, canonized uh, yesterday by uh, the Pope. Uh, 
Are you kidding? You got canonized with eight? What do you mean with eight? Eight hundred and thirteen. Uh, eight hundred and thirteen of my uh, 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 what do you call them? Paisans, Kujins, all those guys over cousins. there. Yeah, my cousins. They uh, we we're all uh, canonized uh, yesterday. A hundred and thirteen of you? Fourteen of you got canonized? Eight hundred and thirteen! Eight hundred and thirteen! Eight hundred and thirteen of you got canonized yesterday? Yes, we're all, uh, what you call, uh, martyr. We all died for the faith. By the way, I'm, uh, yelling doesn't necessarily improve or, or negate an accent. I just wanted to point what that out. What are you talking about? I'm just excited I I that someone's coming to talk to me! Uh, put the A, put the vowels at the end. Sometimes that helps the accent. Okay. No, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. There you go. But again, you don't have to yell. So nonetheless, what was your name? Uh, I'm sorry, Fabio? Antonio Pizzullo. Uh, Antonio Pizzullo. <laughs> you sound like the guy from uh, Inglorious Bastards <laughs> trying to say your own name. <laughs> and and uh, so, so what was the story? Well, when did you live? I lived in the uh, 15th century, and in the year uh, 1480, the Turks, you know, the Turkish people, the Turk from uh, the Turkish Empire, they came and they tried to Italy. The Turks from the Turkish Empire, And sure. they came to Italy, and they tried to invade, and they did invade, and they took part of the city of Naples, and then they come to us, and they, they wanted us to, to give up our faith and to, be, uh, to embrace Mohammedanism. And uh, and well, we Islam, you mean? Islam. Well, what the what do you call sure. it? I don't know. And, uh, uh, well, you called it something differently back then. We call uh, it Islam. Right. Okay. Islam. And we refused. And so, at the time, they said, if you believe in uh, Islam, we will uh, preserve your life. And uh, I was the first one to stand up, and I said, we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and Jesus Christ. Uh, and for Jesus Christ, we are willing to die. And so you were martyred for the faith in Italy in the 1500s, and it took this long to canonize you, huh? Yeah, very slow. I don't know that uh, all these popes, especially <laughs> all these Italian popes, are up here. I look at them now, I'm up here, I'm like, what took you so long? Uh, we uh, died for the faith, me and 1,813 people. I'm sorry, 800 or, or 1,800 Eight, of 800. you? 800. I said 800. Yeah. Clean your ears yeah, out, no. uh, sir. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think it's a Maya ears. Uh, I think it's a your ears. Uh. Well... Well, this is fantastic. Now, see, I had no idea that 813 of you uh, were martyred for the faith in the 1500s, and you finally got your day of being canonized announced yesterday, and then the Pope resigns and nobody's paying attention to you. Yeah, what's it? Here's a problem. That was my day okay. and my 813 people's day. Yeah, I can understand. Well, we got to run, but it was real nice meeting you. Your name again was? Antonio Pizzullo. <laughs> Thank you, St. Antonio. Nice meeting you. Ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. All right, well, Father Rob, with that, I have to wrap up my trip to heaven and uh, head back to New York. Well, you're in New York City. I got to head back to uh, Austin, Texas. You there, Father Rob? I am here in New York, Lino. Wonderful experience up there in heaven. It was, right? Sure. Exciting I new mean, saints for, for the you. church. Yeah, so, so there you go, folks. Nobody else is probably talking much about these saints the Pope canonized yesterday, but now you know their stories of St. Laura, St. Maria, and St. Patrick, what was this guy's Antonio. name? Antonio. Somebody remember? Antonio. Antonio, right. So I, I, now we know the rest of the story.